Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel in the next episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. In the past episode, we made it through Mount Mood. We didn't lose any of the members of our team. In this episode, we're going to do um, some more battles versus some trainers on a new route. We're going to be getting a new encounter and also uh, hopefully getting another gym badge against Missy Cerulean City. Uh, so if you guys do enjoy the video, do leave a like. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any of the Starting it off on route number 4. So let's double check how many Pokeballs we have. We have 10, so we're gonna be pretty pretty good there. Uh, our team is Inferno, level 18, Strikes level 8, Rock and Roll level 16, Isabel level 12, Loch Ness level 10, and Tom level 15. Uh, I'm just gonna throw in a potion. May need a potion or two here. We only have three allowed, so I'm gonna give a potion here to Inferno. Uh, I'm gonna give one as well to Rock and Roll. I want everybody at full health because we will be facing off some trainers in this uh, route. And give a potion as well to Tom. Alright, here we go. Great music. I mentioned it before, the music in this game is fantastic. We have a double battle. I'm just gonna put the big guns up front. Inferno and Rock and Roll level 18, level 16. Hopefully they're high level enough. And oh, I was expecting him to like challenge me right away. Uh, oh, it's not even a double battle. It's not even a battle at all. I was thinking it was a double battle, and next thing you know, they're actually helping me with teach my Pokemon some moves. So, Mega Punch, a forward slug by a punch thrown with Muscle Pack power. So it's only 85 accuracy, but it's 80 power. It's gonna replace uh, replace Scratch. So we're gonna have Mega Punch on Tom. That's gonna be a very good, powerful move for us. This guy is gonna teach us Mega Kick. All right. So once again, can only learn it once. Only Tom out of our team and Inferno is able. Just gonna double check what the stats for Mega Kick are. I'm assuming it's similar to Mega Punch. 120 power, but only 75 accuracy. Uh, not sure if I wanna teach it to Tom, maybe to Inferno. You know what, I'm just going to teach it to Tom. Tom is going to be our super strong physical attacker, low kick karate chop, mega punch, and mega kick. So mega punch a bit more accurate, but not as powerful. And mega kick, maybe if we don't have to worry about missing a move, we can just go for it and hopefully it will give us a big knockout. Alright, so we're going to have a new encounter on this route right here. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and put Tom up front. I'm not sure what Pokemon it would be, even what level it would be as well. So we have got some Pokeballs. Here we go. Ekans is our encounter. All right. Only level six is so very, very low level. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and switch out into Isabel because uh, we can weaken it with a tackle. Hopefully, we won't knock it out. It's going to use Rat. It's going to miss. Um, should we go for a tackle? I'm scared I'm going to knock it out. I'm going to try. Okay, good. It's, it's not even like, it's around a quarter, so we're good. Uh, Akins can become, of course, an Arbog. That would be pretty cool to have. But again, it's pretty low level. Um, pretty surprised for that. So let's throw a Pokeball. See if we can get that Akins. Alright, so we catch Akins. I already got a nickname in mind. So, um, of course, Akins is Snake spelled backwards. In our box, it's Cobra spelled backwards, so for the name, I'm just going to name it. Alright, so it looks like we met our rival Gary. I was just uh, walking around Cerulean City, I went near this bridge, and all of a sudden, we've got a rival battle. Alright, so that's a pretty good way to start off the episode. Rival Gary would like to battle, he's got four Pokemon. Pidgeotto, that's not a good start, because we have Tom up front. Uh, level 15 and he is level 16. We're gonna put in a rock and roll. So good to see that at least we're not over level. I try to keep it as as uh, level playing field as I can. So it's gonna start off with a sand attack, which is not good because rock throw naturally does not have good accuracy. It's gonna quick attack. As long as we can hit, we'll be good. And we hit our rock throw, rock and roll coming through in the clutch right there. Um, it's gonna go with a tackle. It has, of course, better accuracy. Hopefully, we don't miss it. There you go. Oh, it actually does not take out the Pidgeotto, but it's only going to use Quick Attack, so it should be good. We land another tackle, and Pidgeotto goes down. 
Rock and Roll was awesome in that uh, matchup. Squirtle is next, so okay, so things are getting a bit intense here. It's gonna go to Tom, because I don't want to go into Inferno and take a water attack to the face, so hopefully Tom with his strong attacks can take it down. It's level uh, 18. Let's start off with a Karate Chop, hopefully get a crit. No. Tail Whip. Defense is gonna drop. It's probably going to use water attacks. Go in another karate chop. Hopefully we get a crit. No. Withdraw. So our defense is down. It is defense is up. Gary out here using uh, strats. I'm going to try Mega Kick. Our newly thought attack. Please don't miss. He hits it. 120 base power. And Squirtle lifts that. Wow. Tackle does about 13. Can take two of those. Tom gets rid of Squirtle. That was probably his biggest uh, threat. Uh, Abra. Oh, Tom is getting out of there. Abra. Psychic type. I'm gonna go with Inferno. I'm gonna go with my best Pokemon right now. Let's go Inferno. Burn that little Psychic Pokemon to the ground. Let's use an Ember right here. It's gonna use Teleport. It fails. Use this attack. Ember is a 2 hit KO. Gonna use Teleport once again. Okay, so we get rid of that Abra pretty easily. There were two hits from Inferno. Okay, so far so good in this battle. Rattata. Uh, should I go into... I'm not gonna go into Tom, so I'm worried it's gonna use like... I'm, I'm worried we don't knock it out one hit. He uses a quick attack. I'm gonna use Ember once again here. So I play it safe. Defense is gonna drop. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be a two hit KO. Inferno takes care of the Rattata after that quick attack. Wow, that's more than I expected. And we beat Gary. There you go. He's our rival, but we have the best of him. We don't lose a Pokemon in that battle. Happy for that. Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. I did a lot of pages in my Pokedex. Bills, world famous as a Pokemaniac. Vended Pokemon storage system on PC too. Should go and thank him. So I guess I gotta go see Bill pretty soon. He's gonna finish exploring this city. He's gonna rest up my Pokemon. And I think our next stop is Cerulean City Gym. Face off Missy and her water type Pokemon. Hopefully we're high level enough uh, to face her. We should have an idea maybe with the first trainer. If we see it's too out of hand, I may do a bit more training. But uh, I'm gonna go see what is going on in that gym. As for Pokemon, I'm gonna have Tom at the start. I don't want to have uh, Loch Ness or I don't want to have Rock and Roll or Inferno. I don't have a Grass type and I don't have an Electric type. This might get ugly, but hopefully Tom is up for the matchup with his strong physical attacks. First battle against Swimmer Lewis. He's got two Pokemon. First one being a Horsey. Level 16. All right, not bad. Just one level on over Tom. Started off with a Karate Chop. All right, so it's about a three hit KO. Defense drops, so uh, these Pokemon like to lower our stats. Wow, almost a knockout on a horse. He's gonna use a smoke screen, lower our accuracy, which is not good. He's gonna go with a low kick to finish it off, and we miss, of course. He's gonna use Leer, lower our defense once again. Uh, little horse, he's making it tough on us, but we hit it with a low kick. There it goes. Tom grows to level 16, happy to see that. Trailer Furry Swipes. Ah, that's interesting. Attacks uh, 2 to 5 times. I don't like that move just because you can't really rely on it. It's going to hit 2 times or 5 times, so I'm just going to skip that. Shelter. I'm just going to keep Tom in. Tom has been putting in work so far and uh, hopefully take care of that Shelter. It's going to go with another Karate Chop. With a 3 or 4 hit KO. It's gonna miss Tackle, which is big. We miss Karate Chop. And it hits the Tackle. So, oh, for our defense, that's right. I forgot our defense is not good right now. Maybe I shouldn't have... Oh, he's gonna use Withdraw now. I have to go into Isabelle. I have to go into the Butterfree. Because right now, I'm scared of a water move. I don't want to put in Rock and Roll or Inferno. Gonna use tackle once again. Okay, it does seven. We can live a few of those. I'm gonna try to hit with some confusions. We can get a confusion here, that'd be big. Oh, one more should take care of it, and it uses withdraw. We're good. Isabel coming in clutch there against Shelter. Hit with a confusion, and down it goes. 
So I was looking just for fun if anywhere Pokemon learned Bullet Seed. I was hoping maybe Isabel learned it, but no, we don't have any Pokemon available that can uh, learn a grass move. So gonna be in a tough spot against Missy. I'm actually gonna take a look quickly around. If we could potentially get one encounter before the battle. I think the only possible option is up that bridge that we met Gary on. I'm not sure if there's any route here. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of trainer battles, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and not do that bridge right now. We have one more trainer, I believe, before Missy. So if we can have Tom do the work there. Worst case scenario, we do face off against those trainers to get experience and level our Pokemon up. Maybe we need to do that before facing Missy, but I think we're good facing one more trainer. Let's go and uh, face off against that one trainer that's left. All right. Here we go. Facing off against Picknaker Diana. She only has one Pokemon, it's a Goldie. Level 19. You know what? It's gonna straight up use a Mega Kick. Hopefully it hits, it does. Is it gonna be enough for a 2 hit KO? It is. Alright, Tail Whip. Do I risk a 75% accuracy move? Gotta go, go big or go home. And Tom with the clutch Mega Kick. We get a crit, doesn't matter. The guy earlier in the episode that taught us to move. Thank you very much. That is a big 2 hit KO. Because right now, our strongest Pokemon are Inferno and Rock and Roll, that are Water and Rock and Ground. So we're going to have to train up Tom, maybe Isabel as well, because so, I was able to get those two uh, battles done. really don't want to take a chance with Missy right now, so I'm going to try to get a few more levels out of Tom. I'm starting off against a Bug Catcher with a Caterpie, so Tom right now is going to level 17. Uh, I'm just going to go with a Mega Kick, try to get that Caterpie down. There it is, beautiful Beedrill, one of my, my favorite bug type Pokemon is actually Beedrill, specifically Mega Beedrill, it just looks so epic. Glad to have one on the team, and this guy is going to give us a uh, prize, we received a nugget, okay. Oh, looks like it was Team Rocket, you want to join? Ha, <laughs> sure, he wants us to join Team Rocket. And he wants to battle us. All right, I was not expecting this guy to battle us, but it looks like he's a Team Rocket Grunt. He's gonna use an Aiken, so things just got real, ladies and gentlemen. Level 15. All right, we got Strikes up front. Intimidate to lower our attack. Don't have anything to hit it with anyway. It's gonna go ahead and go into Rock and Roll. Poison shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem for us. We do have Magnitude on Rock and Roll now. It's gonna use Leer. Not a big deal at all. Aikens, I'm just gonna stay in. Use a uh, ground type magnitude once again. Should take care of that trainer fairly easily here. It is going to intimidate us though, so it may only be a 2 hit KO depending on the type of magnitude it is. Lower defense as well, wow. Just lowering our stats all over the place. Magnitude force, that's not gonna take it out. Not even a 2 hit KO. Magnitude 8. Should do about twice as much as the previous one. There you go, super effective. It's a two hit KO on that Aikens. Another battle won. All right, so who is going to be our counter here? Route 24. It is going to be a duplicate Weedle. All right, so we get to get another encounter after that. Come on, hopefully something good here. Counter is going to be an Abra. Good thing about this, it could become a very strong Alakazam. The bad thing, it is an Abra. And Abras use teleport. Come on, fingers crossed that this catches it with a one Pokeball. No, it's gonna break free. That is so dumb. We lose our one encounter from this area because of teleport. We literally had no chance to catch it. All right, here goes nothing. So my plan is to have Butterfree ready to put some Pokemon to sleep. I'm gonna have Tom ready to throw some big attacks as well. It's gonna be a challenge. I'm hoping that we can get it done uh, with Tom and Isabel. Here we go. 
What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon and policies and all out offensive water type team Pokemon? Alright. It's Misty. She has two Pokemon. She has, of course, her Staryu level 18. Let's go with a Mega Kick. Hopefully, we don't miss. It's gonna use Harden. It's gonna get uh, its defense way up. We hit Mega Kick. One, one uh, KO, and Tom's gonna grow to level 19. Water Pulse. As long as we live this and be able to hit with a Mega Kick, we should be good. Oh no, it confuses us with Water Pulse. Come on, Tom. Snap out of it, buddy. Yes, use this Mega Kick, but he misses. Oh man, I'm gonna go with Mega Punch. It's not as powerful, but it's more accurate. Can't believe we may lose Tom here. No, we lose. <laughs> we lose Tom against Misty. Tom was so powerful due to a confusion. Imagine. We're just gonna go with Inferno because we're definitely. Do I want to go into Inferno? Should go with Isabel. Hopefully, Isabel is gonna be faster. Be able to knock it out with a confusion. It's gonna use a Water Pulse. Critical hit, and we get confused. We're getting hacked like crazy in this battle. Hurt and stuff in this confusion. Wow. I have to use a potion on Isabel. I don't have a choice right here. Even a potion is not enough. We have 32 HP, 18. So it does 14. We can live one more. As long as it doesn't crit us or confuse us. We live on four. Isabel is confused. Come on, Isabel. Oh my god, we lose Isabel, which was our win condition against Misty. Nothing I could do. We got hacks out of the playthrough, guys, so that's a very disappointing loss. And just like that, our fallen friends in the dead box, our beloved team. Yeah, that hurts, guys. So unfortunately, this is the end of the road for that team. But uh, yeah, it was a fun couple of episodes while it lasted, guys. I do appreciate uh, uh, you guys watching. Do leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, like for our fallen friends, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I would have wished to be able to go further. But Chris and Confusion is what you can do. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.